New Jersey is working to increase the usage of renewable energy. I'm Joe Horner. This is Comcast Local Edition. With me this hour is New Jersey Assemblyman Nelson Albano. Thanks so much for being with us. Great to be here. You're chair of the Agriculture and Natural Resources Committee. Talk to us a little bit about some of the areas that you're exploring through this committee when it comes to renewable energy. Well, we had a company uh, approach me about biofuel and the information that they gave me was, was so so great and, and abundant that, and there was a lot that I didn't know about, I figured it would be great for the committee members to hear about. So what we did is we held a renewable energy hearing. Um, it lasted about two and a half to three hours. And we had different people come in on solar, wind, and biofuel. And we have to do what we can, not only here in the state of New Jersey, but the whole country, to lessen our dependency on foreign oil. And this is the way to go, biofuel, solar, and wind. Talk to us about biofuel, because there has been a concern that uh, this type of energy could actually take needed food out of the food supply. But alternative forms of technology are actually changing the way in which biofuel can be produced. Well, the Farm Bureau and some other people were kind of concerned that we would be raising crops just for the, for the biofuel fuel. That would not be the case. This would be crops that would be plowed under, crops that are left over. The waste of the crops would be used to produce the biofuel. Uh, across the whole state of New Jersey during the fall, you see all the corn stalks that are left from the corn that's been picked. What they're doing is, is they're producing a way right now where they would be able to turn those corn stalks into biofuel. So, or for example, soybean hulls, something that is not edible could be used. How could biofuel actually be utilized throughout the state to produce energy? Well, any uh, generation plant, any municipalities that have their own generation plant that is fueled by coal can actually be replaced to burn biofuel or a combination of both. And it would have to be nothing changed on the furnaces itself to go from one to the other. And the benefits are amazing, the cost and then the pollution that goes along with coal. I want to talk a little bit about wind energy because this is probably one of the most, most visible forms of alternative energy that we're seeing in New Jersey because of the windmills off of Atlantic City and, and the like. What are some of the ways in which we can utilize wind further uh, in New Jersey and actually increase the usage? Well, well, that's how I got involved in, in the agriculture because there's legislation that was just passed that would allow windmills on farms and it would be a great way for the farmers not only to save money but to get more out of their product have the energy when they need it and look at the how it's going to impress the the environment without burning diesel fuel or burning any other kind of fuel to produce their energy what about solar? Many municipalities are actually working together uh, with their school districts or other forms of shared service to have solar fields, to put solar panels onto their municipal buildings. What are we seeing throughout the state? Solar energy is great. It just takes a whole lot of room to install these panels. They had one of the biggest ones on the convention center in Atlantic City. The city of Vineland right now in Cumberland County is going to have the biggest solar project in the state of New Jersey. And this is um, being put in by the electric utility and will be used to produce energy for Cumberland County, the biggest solar field in the state. That's just part of what's happening, but let's talk about the other side, the economics of these types of industries, of this type of renewable energy. When it comes to manufacturing these products, at this point, are any of the wind turbines or any of the solar panels or any of the other products that go into these renewable energy technologies actually made here in New Jersey? Um, there, if there are any, there's very, very few. There are companies right now that install them that are located in the state of New Jersey. What we're trying to do is to use so much of this solar and the wind and everything else that goes along with renewable energy to get these companies to locate right here in the state of New Jersey to produce that product where they could ship it out all over the world. We just have a short time left, but what could this potentially mean as you work to increase the usage of renewable energy and increase New Jersey's renewable energy portfolio in terms of green collar jobs here in the state? Uh, right now, there is so much stimulus money going into um, renewable energy. This would create so many jobs, so much revenue for the state of New Jersey, and the environment would benefit immensely. All right, thanks so much. You're great. We've been talking with Nelson Albano. I'm Jill Horner.